Hello. Today I'd like to talk to you about count it all joy. James 1 2 says to count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations or as the New Living Translation says it, consider it an opportunity for great joy when troubles of any kind come your way. Well, when troubles come my way, joy is not always the first thing that comes to my mind. Um, I'm not like, woohoo, this is awesome. I'm so happy this is happening. So, but um, 1 Corinthians 10, 13 says, the temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, he will show you a way so, way out so that you can endure. Jesus told us that in the world we would have tribulations and trials and distress and frustration, but be of good cheer. Take courage, be confident, certain, un undaunted, for I have overcome the world. I have deprived it of power to harm you and have conquered it for you. In Acts 16, the Bible tells us about a time when Paul and Silas, they had been teaching and preaching the word, and some people became believers, and Paul cast the devil out of a girl, and then the whole city got in an uproar. The city officials ordered that Paul and Silas be stripped and beaten with wooden rods and thrown into prison. The jailer was told to make sure that they didn't escape, so he put them in the inner dungeon, and he clamped their feet in stocks. Then around midnight, Paul and Silas, they were hungry and thirsty. They were hurting and bleeding. They started having a pity party. They talked about how they could, couldn't believe that God would allow this to happen to them. After all they had been doing for him, Paul said, everywhere I go to spread the gospel, I just get beat up and stoned and thrown in jail. Or, That's not what happened. That night, at around midnight, even though they were in prison, they were hungry and thirsty, hurting and bleeding. They were praying and singing praises to God. And the prisoners heard them. They didn't just keep it to themselves. They were singing loud. They were praising God loud. Suddenly, there was a massive earthquake. The prison was shaken to its foundations and the, all the doors flew open and the chains fell off of the prisoners. It goes on to say how the jailer and everyone in his household were saved and baptized. The next day, after an apology from the city of officials, Paul and Silas were released. I don't think the jailer and his household being saved and getting re released from prison would have happened if Paul and Silas had not made the choice to pray and sing praises to God. They chose to believe God and who he was and that he loved them and that they were victorious no matter what situation they were in. When bad things are happening and sometimes it's just like one bad thing after another, you know, keeps on happening. One of our instructors said it's like, um, the devil's pile-up method on you. The devil thinks that if he just keeps pouring more things on you, bad things, that you're going to give up. But don't give up. Don't quit. Allow God's Word to rise up in you and remind you of what God says. The Word of God says that you're more than a conqueror, that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you, and that God always leads you to triumph. As I said earlier, joy's not always the first thing that comes to my mind when troubles come and happen. But the Word of God then rises up in me, and I begin to praise the Lord. I begin to declare what the Word says about the situation that I'm facing. I start singing that my God is a way maker. He's a miracle worker. He's a promise keeper. He's the light in the darkness. Then that joy comes. The joy of the Lord rises up in my spirit, and I can count it all joy because I know that God loves me and that he's fighting for me. So please know that whatever trials or troubles that you may be going through,
They're not from God, but God loves you. He will never abandon you. He is for you, and he has given you the victory. So count it all joy and have a great day.